Murder in the first degree, premeditated homicide, is the most serious crime tried in our criminal courts. You have heard a long and complex case, ladies and gentlemen, and it is now your duty to sit down and try to separate the facts from the fancy. One man is dead. The life of another is at stake. If there is any reasonable doubt in your mind as to the guilt of the accused, then you must declare him not guilty. If, however, there is no reasonable doubt, then he must be found guilty. Whichever way you decide, the verdict must be unanimous. I urge you to deliberate honestly and thoughtfully. You are faced with a grave responsibility. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm right outside. Just knock. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> did he lock that door? <laughs> yes, he did. Oh, what do they think we are? Crooks? Oh, they lock us up for a little while, and then they lock that kid up forever, and, and that's fine by me. Uh, I never knew they did that. Oh, sure, they locked the door. What do you think? I just didn't know. It never occurred to me. Oh, well, shall we all admit right now that it is hot and humid and our tempers are short? <laughs> it's been a pretty hard week. I feel just fine. I wonder what's been going on at the office. You know how it is in advertising. In six days, my job could be gone. And the whole company, too. Well, they aren't going to like this. Oh, well, figure this is our duty. I didn't object to my duty. I just mentioned that I might not have a job by the time I get back. Oh, ask him to hire you. He's rich. Oh, thank you. Look at the suit. Oh, wow. <laughs> is it custom tailored? Oh, yes, it is. I have an uncle who's a tailor. Oh, well, how does he do? Oh, thank you. Not too well. Mm. Excuse me. You know, a friend of his that's a friend of my uncle, uh, the tailor. <laughs> well, this friend wanted to be in this jury in my place. <laughs> Why didn't you let him? I would have done anything to miss this. Mm. And get caught or something? You know what kind of a fine you could pay for anything like that? Oh. Anyways, this friend of my uncle's was on a jury once about uh, 10 years ago. A case just about like this one. Mm. So, what happened? Mm -hmm. They let him off. Reasonable doubts. <laughs> and you know, about eight years later, they found out that he'd actually done it anyways. Oh. A guilty man, a murderer, was turned loose on the streets. Uh, did they get him? They couldn't. Uh, why not? A man can't be held in double jeopardy. Unless it is a hung jury. They can't try a man twice for the same crime. That isn't gonna happen here. Mm. Six days. Uh, they should have finished it in two. I mean, did you ever hear so much talk about nothing? <laughs> well, I guess. Uh, they're entitled. Yes. Everybody gets a fair trial. That's the system. Well, I suppose you can't say anything against it. Well, how'd you like that business about the knife? Did you ever hear a phonier story? Well, look, you've got to expect that. You know what you're dealing with. We know he bought a switch knife that night. Oh, and then claimed he lost a it. A hole in his pocket. A hole in his father. <laughs> An awful way to kill your father. A, a knife in his chest. Oh, look at the kind of people they are. You know them. <laughs> <coughs> What's the matter? You got a cold? Oh, goodness, yes. These hot weather colds are something terrible. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take seats. Oh, oh, and may I suggest that we sit in numerical order? One, two, three, and so forth. All right, thank you. This better be fast. I've got tickets to the Yankees game tonight. Oh, ma'am, how about sitting down? Finally, mate. Oh, the gentleman at the window. Okay, Your Honor. Sorry. Start the show. It's hard to figure, isn't it? Oh, a kid kills his father. Bing, just like that. Well, oh, it's juvenile delinquency. Oh, people let their children run wild. Maybe it serves them right. Oh, oh no. I okay, there's no point in getting emotional about it. It's a question of evidence, not how we feel. We all agree that it was hot. And that our tempers will get oh, short. That's if we disagree. This is open and shut. Mm -hmm. well, let's get it done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we can handle this any way you want to. I mean, I'm not going to make any rules. All right. If we want to discuss it first and then vote, that's one way. Oh. Or, or we can vote right now. 
and see where we stand. Oh. 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 Let's vote now. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe we can all go home. Yeah, let's yeah. see who's where. Right. Let's vote now. All right. <laughs> let us vote. <laughs> Anybody doesn't want to vote? No. 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 <laughs> that was easy. Okay. All those voting guilty, raise your hands. That's 11 for guilty. Okay. Not guilty? Okay. 11 to 1. 11 guilty. 1 not guilty. Now we know where we stand. Do you really believe he's not guilty? Right. Yes. I don't know. After six days, he doesn't know. In six days, I could learn calculus. This is A, B, C. I don't believe that it is as simple as A, B, C. I never saw a guiltier man in my life. What does a guilty man look like? He is not guilty until we say he is guilty. Are we two votes on his face? Uh, you sat right in court and heard the same things I did. Uh, the boy's a dangerous killer. You could mm -hmm. see it. Where do you look to see if someone is a killer? <laughs> I would like to know. Tell me what the facial characteristics of a killer are. Maybe you know something I don't know. Look, what is there about the case that makes you think the boy's innocent? <laughs> He's 19 years old. Oh. Uh, that's old enough. Mm. Uh, he knifed his own father four inches into the chest. Mm -hmm. uh, an innocent little 19-year-old murderer. Oh, yeah. oh, I agree with you that the boy is guilty, but I think we should try to avoid emotionally colored arguments. Right. <laughs> all right, all right. So they proved it a dozen different ways. Do you want me to list them? No. Yeah. Well, do you believe that stupid story? Oh no, you no. Do you believe the boy's story? I don't know whether I believe it or not. Oh. Maybe I don't. Oh, so what you vote not guilty for? There were 11 votes for guilty. It's not so easy for me to raise my hand and send a boy off to die without talking about it first. Oh, Who says it's easy for me? No one. He's still just as guilty whether it's an easy vote or a hard vote. Is there something wrong because I voted fast? Not necessarily. Oh, I think the kid's guilty. You couldn't change my mind if you talked for a hundred years. I don't years. want to change your mind. Just what are you thinking of? I want to talk for a while. <laughs> Look, this boy's been kicked around all his life, you know, living in a slum. His mother, dead since he was nine. That's not a very good head start. He's a tough, angry kid. Do you know why slum kids get that way? Because we knock him over the head, once a day, every day. I think maybe we owe him a few words. That's all. All right, it's hard. Sure, it was hard for me. Everything I've got, I fought for. I worked my way through college. That was a long time ago, and perhaps you do forget. I fought, yes, but I never killed. I know what it's like. I never killed nobody. I've been kicked around, too. Wait until you've worked in an ad agency, and the guy that buys the advertising walks in. We all know. In my country, in Europe, kicking was a, a science. But let's try to find something better than Look, that. I don't mind telling you this, mister. We don't owe that kid a thing. He got a fair trial, didn't he? You know what that trial cost? He's lucky he got it. <laughs> Look, we are all grown-ups here. You're, you're not going to tell us you're supposed to believe him. I mean, knowing what he is. I have lived among them my entire life. You can't believe a word they say, and you know that. <laughs> I don't know that. What a terrible thing to believe. Since when is dishonesty a group characteristic? You have no monopoly on the truth. All right. It's not Sunday. Oh, we don't need a sermon. What this woman says is very dangerous. I don't see any need for arguing like this. I think we ought to behave like ladies and gentlemen. Right. right. If you insist, certainly. Oh, thank you. Sure. Now, if we're going to discuss this case, why? Let's discuss the facts. I think that's a good point. We have a job to do. Let's do it. Uh, if you all don't mind, I'm going to close the window. It was blowing on my neck. If you don't mind, I'd like to have the window open. Uh, but it was blowing on my neck. Uh, there are, don't you want a little air? It's summer. It's hot. I was very uncomfortable. There are 12 of us in this room. It's the only working window if you don't mind. I have some rights, too. Oh, so do the rest of us. Couldn't you trade chairs with someone at the other end of the table? Mm -hmm. All right. I will keep the window open if someone would trade. Take my chair. Thank you. Shall we get back to the case? <laughs> yeah. Let's. <clears throat> I may have an idea here. Hmm. I'm just thinking out loud now, but it seems to me that it's up to us to convince this gentleman 
uh, we're right and he's wrong. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe if we talk for a minute or two, you know, uh, try it on for size. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. That sounds fair enough. Yeah, yeah, very fair. Good. Supposing yeah. we go once around the table. Uh -huh. yeah, okay, yeah. let's start it off. Right. All right. We'll start with you. Uh, oh. All right. Well, I just think the kid is guilty. I, I thought it was obvious, mm -hmm. right? In what way was it obvious? I mean that nobody proved otherwise. Nobody has to prove otherwise. Innocent until proven guilty. The burden of proof is on the prosecution. The defendant doesn't have to open his mouth. That's in the Constitution. The Fifth Amendment. You've heard of it. Everyone has. Oh, well, sure. I've heard of it. I know what it is. I... Uh, what I meant. Well, anyway, I think he's guilty. <laughs> no reasons. Just guilty. There is a life at stake here. Okay, let's get to the facts of the number one. Oh, uh, let's take the old man who lived on the second floor, right underneath the room where the murder took place. Okay, so uh, at 10 minutes after... 12. At 10 minutes after 12 on the night of the killing, he, he heard loud noises in the upstairs apartment. He, uh, he said it sounded like a fight. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he heard the kid say to his father, I'm going to kill you. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, a second later, he heard a body fall. So, uh, so he ran to the front door of his apartment. He looked out, and he saw the kid running downstairs and out of the house. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, then he called the police. Uh, they found the father with a knife in his oh, chest. Right. Mm -hmm. And the coroner fixed the time of death at around midnight. Oh, right. Uh -huh. Now, what else do you want? It doesn't seem to fit. <laughs> the boy's entire story is flimsy. He claims he was at the movies. That's a little ridiculous, isn't it? He couldn't even remember what picture he saw. Oh, that's right. D did you hear that? You're absolutely right. He didn't have any ticket stub. He keeps a ticket stub at the movies. That's true enough. Uh, I suppose, but... The cashier didn't remember him. Oh, and the ticket taker didn't either. What about the woman across the street? If her testimony don't prove it, then nothing does. That's right. She saw the killing, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Let's go in order. Just a minute. Here is a woman who is lying in bed and can't sleep. It's hot. You know, throw him away. She wakes up, looks out the window, and right across the street, she sees the boy stick the knife into his father. How can she really be sure it was the boy when she saw it through the windows of a passing elevated train? She's known the kid all his life. His window is right opposite hers across the L tracks. And she swore that she saw him do it. I heard her it. swear to it. Okay. And they proved in court that you can look through the windows of a passing L train at night and see what is happening on the other side. They proved it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Weren't you telling us just a minute or two ago that you can't trust them? That you can't believe them? So? And then I'd like to ask you something. How come you believed her? She's one of them, too. Isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> You're a pretty smart cookie, aren't you? Now take it easy. Come on, sit down. Oh, what are you letting him get you all upset for? Relax. Jeez. <laughs> They did take us out to the woman's room, and we looked through the windows of a passing L train, mm -hmm. didn't we? Yes, we did. And weren't you able to see what happened on the other side? Mm -hmm. I didn't see as well as they told me I would see, but I did see what happened on the other side. Do you see? Oh, Do you see? <laughs> Let's calm down now. It's your turn. Oh, uh, I'll pass it. That's your privilege. Oh, okay. How about you? Oh, no, it's uh, his turn. Oh, sorry. Thank you. How about you? I, I don't know. I, I started to be convinced, you know, with the testimony from those people across the hall. But didn't they say something about an argument between the father and the boy around 7 o'clock that night? I mean, I can be wrong. Right. I think it was 8 o'clock, not 7. That's right, 8 o'clock. They heard the father hit the boy twice, and then they saw the boy walk angrily out of the house. Right. What does that prove? Well, it doesn't exactly prove anything. It's just part of the picture. I didn't say it proved anything. <laughs> anything else? No. I don't know. Most of it has been said already. We could talk about this thing all day, but I just think we're wasting our time. I don't. Yeah, neither do I. Go on. Uh, look at the kid's record. Uh, he stole a car. Uh, he was arrested for mugging. Ooh, I think they say he stabbed somebody in the yard. Oh, they did. Um, he was picked up for knife biting. 
Uh, at 15, he was a reform oh, school. They sent yeah. him to reform school for stabbing yeah. someone. Yeah. This is a very fine boy. Huh? <laughs> Ever since he was five years old, his father beat him up regularly. He used his fists. So would I and a kid like that. Uh, you're right. It's the kids, the, the way they are, you know? They don't listen. Mm. Uh, I've got a kid. Oh, when he was eight years old, he ran away from a fight. I saw it. I was so ashamed. Oh, I told him right out. I'm gonna make a man out of you, or I'm gonna bust you into little pieces trying. Mm. <sighs> when he was 15, he hit me in the face. Yeah, yeah he's big, you know. I haven't seen him in three years. Rotten kid. Wow, I hate tough kids. I mean, you, you work your heart out. All, all right, L let's get on with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we're missing the point here. This kid, let's say he is a product of a filthy neighborhood and a broken home. We, we can't help that. We're not here to go into the reasons why the slums are breeding grounds for criminals. And they are. I know it, and so do you. The children that come out of slum backgrounds are potential menaces to society. You said it there. I don't want any part of them, believe me. I've lived in the slums all my life. Now, wait a second. I, I... used to play in a backyard that was filled with garbage. Maybe it still smells on me. Now, let's be reasonable. There's nothing personal. There is something personal. Come on now. No, she didn't mean you. Uh, let's not be so sensitive. Mm -hmm. Who did she mean? I can understand the sensitivity. Now, let's stop the bickering. We're wasting time. It's your turn. <laughs> all right. Oh. I had a peculiar feeling about this trial. Mm -hmm. Somehow I felt that the defense counsel never really conducted a thorough cross-examination. Mm -hmm. Too many questions were left unasked. While it doesn't change my opinion on the guilt of the boy, still, I agree with you that the defense counsel was bad. So? This is a point. Oh, what about facts? So many questions were never answered. What about the questions that were answered? <laughs> oh, for instance, let's talk about that cute little switch knife. Mm -hmm. You know, the one that... Fine, upright kid admitted buying. All right, let's talk about it. Okay. Let's get in here and look at it. I'd like to see it again, Mr. Foreman. Well, we all know what it looks like. I don't see why we have to look at it again. Uh, what do you think? Well, the gentleman has a right to see exhibits and evidence. Okay with me. This knife, it's a pretty strong piece of evidence. Don't you agree? I do. Now, let's get the sequence of events correct as they relate to the switch knife. The boy admits going out of his house at 8 o'clock mm -hmm. after being slapped by his father. Or punched. Or punched. He went to a neighborhood store and he bought a switch knife. And the storekeeper was arrested the following day when he admitted selling it to the boy. <laughs> I think everyone agrees that it's an unusual knife. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty hard to forget something like that. The storekeeper identified the knife. And he said it was the only one of its kind he had in stock. Mm -hmm. Now why did the boy get it? As a present for a friend of his. He said. <laughs> Am I right so far? Right. Oh, you bet he's right. Now you listen to this man. He knows what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Next. The boy claims that on the way home, the knife must have fallen through a hole in his coat pocket. That he never saw it again. Oof. Now there's a story. You want to know what actually happened? The boy took the knife home and a few hours later stabbed his father with it. And even remembered to wipe away the fingerprints. Oh, thank you. And everyone connected with the case, they identified this knife. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to tell me that someone picked it up off the street and went up to the boy's house and they stabbed his father with it just to be amusing? No. I'm saying that it's possible that the boy lost the knife and that someone else stabbed his father with a similar knife. It's possible. <laughs> Take a look at that knife. It's a very strange knife. Yeah. I've never seen one like it before in my life. Neither had the storekeeper who stole it to him. Aren't you trying to make us accept a pretty incredible coincidence? I'm not trying to make anyone accept it. I'm just saying it's possible. Oh, and I'm saying it's not possible. What are you trying to do? Yeah, what is this? Who do you think you are? Mm -hmm. Well, look at it. It's the same knife. <laughs> quiet. Let's be quiet. Where did you get it? I got it in a little junk shop around the corner from the boy's house. 
It costs two dollars. Now listen to me. I'm listening. Now you pulled the real smart trick here, uh, but you proved absolutely zero. Uh, maybe there are ten knives like that, so what? Maybe there are. But the boy lied, and you know it. And maybe he didn't lie. Maybe he did lose the knife, and maybe he did go to the movies. Maybe the reason the cashier didn't see him was because he sneaked into the movies. And maybe he was ashamed to say so. Is there anybody here who didn't sneak into the movies once or twice when they were young? Oh, but I didn't. Really? Not even once. Oh, we didn't have movies. <laughs> Maybe he did go to the movies. Maybe he didn't. And he may have lied. Do you think he lied? Oh, now that's a stupid question. Sure, he lied. Do you? You don't have to ask me that. You know my answer. He lied. Do you think he lied? I... I don't know. Oh, well, now wait a second. What are you? The boy's lawyer? Listen, there are 11 of us who think he's guilty. You're alone. <laughs> what do you think you're going to accomplish here? Mm -hmm. If you want to be stubborn and hang this jury, you'll be tried again and found guilty. Sure, it's born. You're probably yeah. right. So what are you going to do about it? We can be here all night. It's only one night. A man may die. Oh, well, now, come on. Well, yes, that's true. I think we ought to get on with it now. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get going here. I like this guy. Well, what do you say? No, you're the one holding up the show. Obviously, you don't think the boy's guilty. I have doubt in my mind. <laughs> but you haven't really presented anything to us. That makes it possible <clears throat> for us to understand your doubt. Mm -hmm. There's the old man downstairs. He heard it. He heard the boy shriek it out. Oh, the woman yeah. across the L tracks. She saw it. <laughs> oh, nice. We know he bought a switch knife that night. And we don't know where he really was. At the movies? <laughs> Earlier that night, the kid and his father did have a fight. Mm -hmm. He's been a violent kid all the way. And, and while that doesn't prove anything... Well, still, oh, yeah. you know. I've oh, yeah. got a proposition to make. Hmm. I want to call for a vote. I want the 11 of you to vote by secret ballot. I'll abstain. If there are still 11 votes for guilty, I won't stand alone. We'll take in a guilty verdict right now. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's do it. That sounds fair. Mm. Is everybody agreed? Oh, I certainly am. Let's roll it. Thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Anybody else? Come on. Guilty. 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 Oh, that's six. Please. Six guilty. 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 <laughs> Not guilty. Hmm? <laughs> guilty. Oh my God. Who was it? I think we have the right to know. All right. Uh, who did it? What idiot changed their vote? Yes. Is that the way to talk about a man's life? Oh, Whose oh, life are you God. talking about? The, the life of the dead man or the life of the murderer? I want to know who. Well, so do I. Excuse me, this was a secret ballot. No one looked while we did it, but now I want to know. A secret ballot. We agreed on that point, no? no. If the person wants it to remain a secret... Oh, what do you mean? There, there are no secrets in here. Oh. I know who it was. Hmm. Oh, what's hey. the matter with you? You come in here and you vote guilty, and then this, this slick preacher starts to tear your heart out with stories about a, a poor little kid who just couldn't help becoming a murderer. Uh, so you change your vote. If that isn't the most sick no, hold it. I agree with you that the boy is guilty, but let's be fair. <laughs> hold it. Be fair. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> right. We're trying to put a guilty man in the chair where he belongs. Yeah. And all of a sudden, well, we're paying attention to fairy tales. Now, wait a minute. Now, you listen to me. Oh. Let's try to keep this organized. Okay, it isn't organized, but let's try to be civilized. Please, please, I, I would like to say something hmm. here. I have always thought that a person was entitled to have unpopular opinions in this country. This is the reason I came here. I wanted to have the right to disagree. Uh, do you disagree with us? Usually I would. 
In this one case, I agree with you. Uh, but the point I wish to make is that in my own country, I am ashamed oh, to say... Oh, no, what I do we have to listen to? The whole history of your country? <laughs> it's always wise to bear in mind what has happened in other countries when people aren't allowed to disagree. <coughs> but we are, so let's stick to the subject. Yes, let's stick to the subject. <sighs> I want to ask you, what made you change well, your vote? I want to know, too. You haven't told us yet. What makes you think I did change my vote? Oh, because I do. Now get there out of the There was nothing for her to tell you. She didn't change her vote. I did. Oh. <laughs> I was going to tell you, but you were so sure of yourself. Sorry. Okay. Now. So maybe you'd like to know why. Oh, let me tell you why. Oh, that kid is oh. a menace the to The lady our... wants to talk. Thank you. This gentleman chose not to stand alone against us. That's his right. It takes a great deal of courage to stand alone, even if you believe in something very strongly. He left the verdict up to us. He gambled for support, and I gave it to him. I want to hear more. The vote is 10 to 2. That's fine. If the speech is over, let's go on. Mm -hmm. I think we should take a little break here. If there was anything in the kid's favor, I'd vote not guilty. I don't see what it is. Neither do I. They're clutching at straws. As guilty as they get. That's the kid, I suppose. Yeah. And that's that one juror that's holding out, but he'll come around. I mean, he's got to. And fundamentally, he is a very reasonable man. I guess so. But they haven't come up with one real fact yet, though, to back up a not guilty verdict. It's hard, you know. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And what does guilty beyond a reasonable doubt really mean? What's a reasonable doubt? Exactly. Mm -hmm. When there's a life at stake, what is a reasonable doubt? You've got to have law and order, and you've got to draw the line somewhere. If you don't, everyone would start knifing people. Ooh, not much doubt here. <laughs> Two people think so. I wonder why. I really wonder why. You do hear stories about innocent men who have gone to jail or death sometimes. Then years later, things turn up. Mm, and, and on the other hand, some killers get turned loose, and they go and do it again. They squeeze out on some technicality and kill again. Look, hon, now that we've kind of cooled off, why, I was a little excited a minute ago. Well, you know how it is. I didn't mean to get nasty. Uh, nothing personal. Think nothing of it. Look, supposing you answer me this. If the kid didn't kill him, who did? Well, as far as I know, we're supposed to decide whether or not the boy on trial is guilty. And we're not concerned with anyone else's motives here. I suppose, but who else had a motive? If the kid's father was along in years, maybe an old grudge. Remember, it is guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. This is an important thing to remember. Everyone's a lawyer. Uh, supposing you explain to us what your reasonable doubts are. Mm -hmm. This is not easy. So far, it's only a feeling I have. A feeling. <laughs> Perhaps you don't understand. No, I don't. A feeling. What are we going to do? Spend the night talking about your feelings? What about the facts? Uh, you mm -hmm. said a mouthful. Look, look, the old man heard the kid yell, I'm going to kill you. A second later, he heard the father's body fall, and he saw the kid running out 15 seconds after that. Where's the reasonable doubt in that? That's right. And let's not forget about the woman across the street. She looked into the open window and saw the boy stab his father. She saw it. <laughs> now, if that's not enough for you, I It's I not think... enough for me. All right. What is enough for you? I'd like to know. Not sure. Okay. The woman. She saw the killing through the windows of a moving elevated train. Mm -hmm. And the train had five cars, and she saw it through the windows of the last two. She remembers the most insignificant details. Oh, well, uh, what have you got to say about that? I don't know. It doesn't sound right to me. Oh, well, supposing you think about it. Uh, lend me your pencil. Uh, let's play tic-tac-toe. Uh, we might as well pass the time. Oh, this isn't a game. Wait, no, wait a minute. This is a man's oh, life. Who do you think you are? All right, let's take it I've easy. I've got a good mind to belt him. No, one. please, I don't want any uh, fights in here. you see him? 
Oh, the nerve, the absolute nerve! All right! Forget it. How about sitting down? Hmm? This isn't a game. Who does he Come think on. he is? Maybe this? <sighs> Weren't we talking about elevated trains? Yes, we were. So. All right. How long does it take an elevated train going at top speed to pass a given point? What has that got to do with anything? How long would it take? Guess. I? I wouldn't have the slightest idea. Neither would I. I don't think they mentioned it. What do you think? Uh, about 10 or 12 seconds, maybe? I'd say that was a fair guess. Anyone else? I would think about 10 seconds, perhaps. About 10 seconds, yes. All right, we're agreed. 10 seconds. What are you getting at? This. An L train passes a given point in 10 seconds. That given point is the window of the room in which the killing took place. You can almost reach out of the window of that room and touch the L. Right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. I tried it. So? All right, now let me ask you this. Did anyone here ever live right next to the L tracks? I've lived close to them. <laughs> they make a lot of noise, don't they? Yeah. I've lived right by the L tracks. When your window is open and the train goes by, the noise is almost unbearable. You can't hear yourself think. Okay, you can't hear yourself think. Get to the point. <laughs> the old man downstairs heard the boy say, I'm oh, going he didn't to... say it. He screamed it. <laughs> the old man heard the boy scream, I'm going to kill you. And one second later, he heard a body fall. Mm -hmm. One second. That's a testimony, right? Uh, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. The woman across the street looked through the windows of the last two cars at the L and saw the body fall. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. So? The last two cars. The last two cars. What are you mm -hmm. giving us here? Mm -hmm. An L train takes 10 seconds to pass a given point, mm -hmm. or two seconds per car. Mm -hmm. That L had been going by the old man's window for at least six seconds, and maybe more, mm -hmm. before the body fell, according to the woman. Mm -hmm. The old man would have had to hear the boy say, I'm going to kill you, while the front of the L was roaring past his nose. It's not possible that he could have heard it. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, uh, sure he could have heard it. <laughs> with an L train going by. He said the boy yelled it out. An L train makes a lot of noise. It's enough for me. Right? It's enough for me, too. I don't think he could have heard it. Uh, maybe the old man didn't hear it. I mean, with the L noise. Well, what are you people talking about? Uh, are you calling the old man a liar? Something doesn't fit. It stands to reason. Uh, you're crazy. Uh, why would he lie? Uh, what's he got to gain? Uh, attention, maybe. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Keep coming up with these bright sayings. Well, well, why don't you send one to a newspaper? They pay two dollars. <laughs> what does that have to do with the man's life? <laughs> why might the old man have lied? You have a right to be heard. It's just that... I looked at him for a very long time. The seam on his jacket was split under his arm. Did you notice that? This was a very old man <clears throat> with a torn jacket, and he carried two canes. I think I know him better than anyone here. This is a quiet, frightened, insignificant man who had been nothing all his life, who had never had recognition, his name in the newspapers. Nobody knows him after 75 years. This is a very sad thing. A man like this needs to be recognized, to be questioned and, and listened to and quoted just once. This is very important. And you're trying to tell us he lied about a thing like this just so he could be important. Uh, right. No, he wouldn't really lie. But perhaps he made himself believe he heard those words and, and recognized the boy's face. Well, uh, that's the most Fantastic story I've ever heard. How can you make up a thing like that? I am not making it up. Uh oh, you must be making it up. Uh, people don't lie about things he like that. He made himself believe he told the truth. Well, what do you know about it? I speak from experience. <laughs> what? Oh. Well, I think 
We all agree now. Thank you. If you want to admit you're a liar, <laughs> that's all right by me. Now that is too much. <laughs> She's a liar. Uh, she just told us so. She did not say she was a liar. She was explaining. Well, didn't you admit you're a liar? Please. She was explaining the circumstances so that we could understand why the old man might have lied. There is a difference. Oh, oh, oh. A liar is a liar. That's all there is to it. Please, <laughs> have some compassion. Everyone, please, we have our job and our duty here. I think they've covered it. I hope we have. All right. Is there anything else? Cough drop? No, thank you. Does anybody want a cough drop? No. no. Let's get on with it. I'll take one. Now, there's something else I'd like to point out here. Oh, I think we proved that the old man couldn't have heard the boy say, I'm going to kill oh, well, you. Well, I disagree. Let's <laughs> hear him through anyway. But, supposing the old man really did hear the boy say, I'm going to kill you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this phrase, how many times has each of you used it? Probably hundreds. Mm. If you do that once more, Junior, I'm going to murder you. <laughs> Come on, Rocky, kill him. <laughs> we say it every day. This doesn't mean that we're really going to kill someone. Well, don't the circumstances alter that somewhat? Mm -hmm. The yeah. old man was murdered. Oh, one more right. thing. The phrase was, I'm going to kill you, and, and he screamed it at the top of his lungs. Mm -hmm. now, now, don't try and tell me he didn't mean it. Anybody says a thing like that the way he said it, they mean it. And how they mean it. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you this. Do you really think the boy would shout out a thing like that so the whole neighborhood would hear it? I don't think so. He's much too bright for that. Right. He's a common, ignorant slob. He don't even speak good English. He doesn't even speak good English. <laughs> the boy is clever enough. I'd like to change my vote to not guilty. Oh. Are, you, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. The vote is nine to three in favor of guilty. I'd like to know why you changed your vote. I think there's a doubt. Where? Where is the doubt? Uh, there's the knife. Oh, my. He, he has talked you into believing a fairy tale. Go on. Give us the reasons. Uh, the old man, too. Maybe he didn't lie, uh, oh, but then just maybe he did. Maybe. The old man doesn't like the kid. Well, that isn't the end. Well, I believe that there's a reasonable oh, doubt. What are you basing it on? Stories that this guy made up? <laughs> Listen, the kid had a lawyer, didn't he? Why didn't his lawyer bring up these points? Mm -hmm. Lawyers can't think of everything. Oh, oh brother. Oh, you. You sit in here and you pull stories out of thin air. <laughs> now we're supposed to believe that the old man didn't get out of bed, run to the door, and see the kid go downstairs 15 seconds after the killing. Mm -hmm. No, that's the testimony. And the yes. old man swore to this. Mm -hmm. yes? Yes. yes? He yes. swore to mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Just so he could be important? Ooh. Did the old man say he ran to ran, the door? Ran, walked. What's the difference? He got there. Yes. I don't remember what he said, but I don't see how he could run. <laughs> he said he went. I remember it now. He went from his bedroom to the front door. That's enough now, isn't it? Where was his bedroom again? Down the hall somewhere. <laughs> down the hall? Are we to send a man off to die because it's down the hall somewhere? Oh, I thought you remembered everything. Don't you remember that? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't remember either. Oh. Oh, Mr. Foreman, I'd like to take a look at the diagram oh, of the apartment. Why don't we have to run the trial over? <laughs> Just so you can get everything straight. Mm -hmm. The bedroom is down the hall somewhere. Do you know? Do you know exactly where it is? Please, a man's life is at stake. Oh, well, Do you know? Uh, Mr. Foreman. I heard you. All right. Uh, what's this one for? How come you're the only one in the room who wants to see exhibits all the time? Right. I yes. want to see this one, too. So do and I. And I want to stop wasting time. Are we going to start waiting through all that nonsense about where the body was found? Mm -hmm. We're not. 
we're going to find out how a man who's had two strokes in the past three years and who walks with a pair of canes could get to his front door in 15 seconds. Oh, he said 20 seconds. He said 15. How does he know how long 15 seconds is? You can't judge that kind he of thing. He said 15. He was very positive about now, he's it. He's an old man. Oh, you saw that. Oh, half the time he was confused. How could he be positive about anything? <laughs> well, you know. No, I don't know. Maybe you know. Is this what you wanted? That's right. Thank you. You want this? Yes, please. Oh, God. Do me a favor. Wake me up when this is over. Well, I've looked at that diagram for two hours. Enough is enough. Some of us are interested. Go ahead. All right. This is the apartment in which the killing took place. The old man's apartment is directly beneath it, and exactly the same. Mm -hmm. now, here are the L-tracks. The bedroom, another bedroom, living room, bathroom, kitchen, and this is the hall. Mm -hmm. Here's the front door to the apartment, and here are the steps. Now, the old man was in bed in this room. He says he got up, went out into the hall, down the hall to the front door, and opened it, and looked out just in time to see the boy racing down the stairs. Mm -hmm. Am I right? That's yeah, the story. Is. That's what happened. Fifteen seconds after he heard the body fall. Mm -hmm. His bed was at the window. It's 12 feet from his bed to the bedroom door. The length of the hall is 43 feet, 6 inches. He had to get up out of bed, get his canes, walk 12 feet, open the bedroom door, walk 43 feet, and open the front door. All in 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. yes. Do you think this is possible? You mm -hmm. know it's possible. Yes, I don't see why not. Oh, oh, he would have been in a hurry. He did hear the scream. He can yes. only walk very slowly. Uh, they had to help him into the window. You make it sound chair. like a long walk. It's not. For an old man who uses canes, it's a long walk. <laughs> well, what are you doing? I want to try this thing. Let's see how long it took him. Hmm. I'm going to pace off 12 feet. The length of the bedroom. You're crazy. You, you can't recreate a thing like Perhaps that. Perhaps if we could see it, this is an important It's point. a ridiculous waste of time. Oh, let him do it. I can't see any harm in it. It's foolish, but go ahead. Hand me a chair, please. All right, this is the bedroom door. How far would you say it is from here to the door of this room? Oh. Mm -hmm. I'd say it was 20 feet. Just about. 20 feet is close enough. All right, from here to the door and back is about 40 feet. It's shorter than the length of the hall the old man had to move through. Wouldn't you say that? A few yeah. feet, maybe. Look, this is absolutely insane. What makes you think you can do this? Mm -hmm. We can't stop him. Do you mind if I try it? According to you, it'll only take 15 seconds. We can't spare that. And who's got a watch with a second hand? Oh, I have. When you want me to start, stamp your foot. That'll be the body falling. We'll time you from there. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Oh, God. Let's say he keeps his canes right at his bedside, right? Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. I'm ready. I'm waiting for the hand to get to 60. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Well, speed it up. You walk twice as fast as that. Yeah, this is, exactly. I think, even more quickly than the old no. man walks into court. No, it isn't. If you think I should go faster, I will. Yes. Speed yeah. it up yeah. along. <sighs> Any day. <sighs> Stop. Right. What's the time? It's 15, 20, 30, 35. 39 seconds exactly. <laughs> oh, that's that's nine seconds. Seconds. Now that's interesting. Hey, now, what do you, you think know. of that? 39 seconds. 39. And the old cripple, he swore on his oath that it was 15. Uh, well, right. he may have been a little bit off on the speed that the um, old cripple moved at, but 24 seconds off. Well, now, you know, I... Far be it for me to call anyone a liar, and even allowing for quite a difference in speed between the old man and you. Why, still, there's quite a... Quite a discrepancy. Yes. Yes. It's my guess that the old man was trying to get to the door, heard someone racing down the stairs, and assumed that it was the boy. I think that's possible. Assumed? Oh. Now listen to me, you people. 
I've seen all kinds of dishonesty in my day, but this little display takes the cake. What dishonesty? Oh, oh tell him. If you come in here oh, with your heart bleeding all over the floor about about slum kids and injustice, oh, yeah. and you make up these wild stories, oh, and you've got some some soft-hearted old ladies listening oh, to you. Well, I'm not. I'm getting real sick of you. Well, what's the matter with you people? Uh, the kid is guilty. He's got to burn. We're, we're letting him slip through our fingers. Our fingers? Are you his executioner? I'm one of them. Perhaps you'd like to pull the switch, huh? For this kid? You bet I'd like to pull the switch. Oh, I'm sorry for you. Oh, don't start with me. What it must feel like to want to pull the switch. Just shut up! You're a sadist. Shut up. You want to see this boy die because you personally want it. Not because of the facts. You're a beast. You disgust me. Shut up! Oh, oh, let me go. I'll kill him! I'll kill him. <laughs> you don't really mean you'll kill me. Do you? Is anything wrong? I heard some noise. No. There's nothing wrong. You can take that back. We're finished with it. Well, uh, what are you looking at? I don't see why we have to behave like children here. Nor do I. We have a responsibility. This is a remarkable thing about democracy, that we are uh, what's notified. That we are notified by mail to come down to this place and decide on the guilt or innocence of a person, of a man or woman we have not known before. We have nothing to gain or lose by our verdict. This is one of the reasons why we are strong. We should not make it a personal thing. Thank you very much. Why do you thank me? We forget. It's good to be reminded. I'm glad that we're going to be civilized about this. <clears throat> well, we're still nowhere. No, we're somewhere. We're getting there. Maybe. Maybe. Who's got an idea? I think maybe we should try another vote. Mm -hmm. Mr. Foreman, mm -hmm. it's all right with me. Anybody doesn't want to vote. I want an open ballot. Oh, let's call out our vote. I want to see who stands where. That sounds fair. Anybody object? Mm, no. no. All right, I'll call off your jury numbers. I vote guilty. Two. Not guilty. <laughs> Three. Guilty. Four. <sighs> guilty. Five. Not guilty. Six. Not guilty. <laughs> Seven. Guilty. Eight. Not guilty. Nine. Not guilty. Ten. Guilty. Eleven. Not guilty. Twelve. Guilty. <laughs> six to six. Oh, well, I'll tell you all something. The crime is being committed right in this room. Oh. The vote is six to six. I I'm ready to walk into court right now and declare a hung jury. Yeah. No, there's no point in this going on anymore. Yeah. I'd like to know why you and you changed your mind. And why you changed your mind. There are six people in this room that think we may be turning a murderer mm -hmm. loose in the streets. A motion? It won't do. Why? It would seem that the old man did not see the boy run downstairs. I do not think it likely that the old man heard someone scream, I'm going to kill you. Right. Old man dreamed. Oh, and if the boy did scream that he was going to kill, well, then we have the authority of this man to prove 
that it might not really mean he's going to kill. Well, why don't we take it into the judge and let this kid take his chances with 12 other people? Oh, oh, six six to six. I don't think we'll ever agree on anything. It's got to be unanimous. Yeah. And we're never going to convince him. Oh, At first, oh, I was alone. Now five others agree. There is a oh, doubt. You can't exactly. ever convince me that there's a doubt because I know there isn't no doubt. I tell you what. Maybe we are a hung jury. It happens sometimes. We are not going to be a hung jury. But we are right now a perfect balance. Let's take it into the judge. If there is a reasonable doubt, I don't see it. The doubt is there. In my mind. <laughs> Maybe we should vote. What do you mean? Vote? Not again. I still want to know. Vote on what? Are we or aren't we a hung jury? You mean that we vote yes, we are a hung jury, or no, we are not a hung jury? Mm -hmm. That's just what I was thinking of. We can't even agree on whether or not the window should be open. Huh. Yeah. Let's make it a majority vote. The majority wins. So if seven or more of us vote yes, that we are a hung jury, then we take it into the judge and tell her that we are a hung jury. Right. And if seven or more vote no, that means that we aren't a hung jury, and we go on discussing it. That doesn't seem quite right oh, to it's me. It's the only solution. I agree. It's the only way. Anything to end this. Are we agreed then? Seven or more votes yes, and we take it into the judge. Yeah. I vote yes. We're hung jury. Two. No. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. No. Six. No. Seven. Yes. Eight. No. Nine. No. Ten. Yes. Eleven? No. Twelve? Yes. Oh. 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 Six to six. We can't even get a majority to decide whether or not we're a hundred. I went with the majority vote on this question, and I didn't agree to voting that way. Not really, and I still don't. So, I'm changing my vote. I think the kid is guilty, beyond a reasonable doubt. There are some things I'd like to find out from those of you that change their minds. Then we aren't a hung jury. So we go on. Good. We go on. Why did you change your mind? He, he seems so sure, and he has made a number of good points, mm -hmm. while he only gets mad and insults everybody. <laughs> so does the anger and insult change the guilt of the boy? He did do it. Are you going to turn a murderer loose because one of the jurors thinks the murderer is being turned loose? Right. That's true. I there don't... is a doubt. I don't think so. The track is straight in front of the window. Let's take that point. So, the L train would have made a low rumbling noise. L trains screech when they go around curves. So the old man could have heard a scream, which is high pitched, and it is a tenement, and they have thin walls. Oh, that's it, that's it. And what if the old man was wrong about the time it took for him to get to the door, but right about whom he saw? Please remember that there weren't any fingerprints on the knife. And it is summer, so gloves seem unlikely. No, I want you to listen to this man. He's got the goods. Yeah. And it might have taken a few seconds to get a handkerchief out and wipe the fingerprints away. Mm -hmm. This is a point. Oh, mm -hmm. why don't we just time this one to see? Well, just what are we timing? Yes, <laughs> let's be exact, please. Right. I'm saying that the old man downstairs, he might have been wrong about how long it took for him to get to the door but right about whom he saw running down the stairs. Mm -hmm. Now, it might have taken the murderer about 39 seconds to wipe away all the fingerprints and get down the stairs to the place where the old man saw him. <laughs> the boy, that is. This is right. Mm -hmm. We reconstructed the old man getting out of bed and going through the door, and we timed that. Mm -hmm. Now let's reconstruct the actual crime. As well as we can reconstruct it. Well, I think a murder keys up to 30 or 40 seconds pretty easily at that point. Let's reconstruct the killing. Yes, let's. let's. Here, you do the stabbing. No, I'll do it. Uh, well, why don't you be the one to get stabbed? You're younger than I am. Oh, and don't forget, you take one second to fall. Oh, right. and he was found on his side, his right side. So you fall and roll onto your right side. Okay. Oh, right. if someone, if they hate another person enough to kill them, don't you think it's reasonable to suppose that the murderer would look at his victim for a second or two? Divorce yourself from this particular case. Just human nature. Mm -hmm. Yes, it seems reasonable. Uh, hey, wait a minute. Uh, he falls and he ends up on his right side. Uh, the father did. Mm -hmm. But stabbing someone isn't like shooting them, even when it's right through the heart. Uh, the father would have worked around for a few seconds lying there on the floor. Uh, uh, writhing me. Mm -hmm. That's quite possible. He would have had enough oxygen in his system to carry him for uh, two or three seconds, I should think. Wouldn't the father have cried out? Oh, maybe the kid held his mouth. <laughs> well, that also seems possible. Yes. 
Also, before we start, there is another point that we might bring up. Anyone that is clear enough mentally to wipe away the fingerprints after murdering someone, well, that person is also clear enough mentally to look around the apartment, or room in this case, to see if there were any other clues. Now, it would just be for a second or two, but still, he would look around. <laughs> well, this yeah, gets yeah. better and better. No, we're trying to make it clear. Okay, one doesn't talk about quality when murder's involved. Well, let's do it. All right. About this on the fingerprints. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The kid wiped the fingerprints off the knife. Well, what about the doorknob? If I saw a man coming into my home, a man that hated me, and if he was wiping the doorknob with a handkerchief as he came in, it would give me an uneasy feeling. Mm. So the doorknobs must have been wiped after the killing. Uh -huh. And this too would take some time. All right, all right. You time the last one, why don't you time this one too? Well, all right. All right. Uh, pardon, uh, pardon, and uh, come on out. Uh, and push in your chairs, please. Uh, go. go. Oh. All right. Uh, come on. You, you're here. Uh, um, you have I want a clear view of this. Oh. All right. Ready? All right. Stamp your foot when you want us to start. All right. I'm waiting for the hand to get to 60. <laughs> I'm going to kill you! <laughs> he would have wiped both knobs. Yes, yes. Stop. Twenty, yeah. Twenty, twenty-five, twenty-nine. About 29 and a half seconds, I'd say. <laughs> yes. And whoever did murder the old man, and I think it was the kid, he still had to run down the hall and down the stairs. At least one flight of stairs. No. Oh, you see, and you see the old man downstairs. He may have been wrong on the time. But in view of this, I think it's quite reasonable to assume he did see the kid run downstairs. So now both time sequences check. The one you did and the one we did. Mm -hmm. What with running downstairs and everything, mm -hmm. it does pretty much check out on times. Mm -hmm. Sure, he's an old man who wants attention. She's probably right. But the old man felt the same way everyone does. A life is at stake. Mm -hmm. So, the story of the old man may well be true. Except for the fact that he absolutely swore, under oath, that it was only 15 seconds. No, we seem to all agree it was 25 to 40 seconds later. You are now admitting that the old man lied in one case and told the truth in the other. And I admit that this does tend to confirm the story of the old man. But in part, he is now a proven liar. And this is by your own admission. That may be true that the old man lies in part, but I think it will change my vote once more. Guilty. Oh, <laughs> and what about you? What do you think now? I'm not just sure what I think. I want to talk some more. At first I thought guilty, then I changed. Now, sort of swinging back to guilty. Oh. <laughs> and what about you? No, I am now in real doubt. Real doubt. <laughs> yeah. I say guilty. I was right the first time. And now we're beginning to make sense in here. It seems to be about nine guilty to three not guilty. One more yeah. question about the old man downstairs. <sighs> How many of you live in apartment buildings? <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking, but I know what I'm thinking. What's that? I, I do not live in a tenement, but it is close. And there is just enough light in the hallway so you can see the steps. No more. The light bulbs are so small. And this murder took place in a tenement. Mm -hmm. Remember how we stumbled on the steps? Yes. The police officers were using big bulbs, and one even had a flashlight. Remember? Mm -hmm. <laughs> An old man who misjudged the time by 20 seconds. On this we all agree. Yes. Mm -hmm. This old man looked down the dark hallway of a tenement and recognized the running figure. He was 100% wrong about the time. It took twice as long as he thought. <laughs> then could not the old man be 100% wrong about who he saw? <laughs> That's the most idiotic thing I've ever heard. Oh, you're making that up out of thin air. We're a hung jury. Let's be honest about it. Yes. Do you truly feel that there is no room for reasonable doubt? Yes, yes I do. I beg your pardon, but perhaps you don't understand the term reasonable doubt. <laughs> oh, what do you mean I don't understand it? Who do you think you are to talk to me like that? <laughs> Ooh, how do you like this, babe? She comes here running for her life, and before she can even take a big breath, she's telling us how to run the show. Mm -hmm. 
the nerve of her. No one here is asking where anyone came from. I was born right here. <laughs> or where your father came from. Maybe it wouldn't hurt us to take a few tips from people who come running here. Maybe they learn something we don't know. We're not so perfect. Please, I'm used to this. It's all right, thank you. It's not all right. OK, OK. I apologize. Is that what you want? That's what I want. All right. Let's stop the arguing. <sighs> Who's got something constructive to say? Well, something's been bothering me a little. This whole business about the stab wound and how it was made. The, the downward angle Don't of it, Don't tell know? me we're going to start that. Uh, they went over it and over it in court. I know they did, but I don't go along with it. The boy is five feet eight inches tall. His father was six feet two inches tall. That's a difference of six inches. It's a very awkward thing to stab down into the chest of someone who's half a foot taller than you are. Oh, look. You're not going to be satisfied till you see it again. I'm going to give you a demonstration. Somebody get up. Come on. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, oh. uh, now watch this. I don't want to have to do it again. Okay. Is that six inches? That's more than six inches. Okay, let it be more. Look out! <laughs> That's not funny. What's the matter with you? All right, now just calm down. Uh, nobody's hurt, are they? No, nobody's hurt. All right, uh, there's your angle. Uh, take a look at it, down and in. Uh, that's how I'd stab a taller man in the chest, and that's how it was done. Uh, take a look at it and tell me I'm wrong. Down and in. I guess there's no argument. Did you ever stab a man? Of course not. Did you? Uh, all right, let's not be silly. Did you? No, I didn't. Where do you get all your information about how it's done? What do you mean? It's just common sense. Have you ever seen a man stabbed? No. All right, I want to ask you something. The boy was an experienced knife fighter. He was even sent to reform school for knifing someone. Isn't that so? That's right. Look at this. Doesn't it seem like an awkward way to handle a knife? Oh, what are you asking me for? Uh, wait a minute. What's the matter with me? Uh, give me that knife. Have you ever seen a knife fight? Yeah, I have. In the movies? In my backyard. Oh. On my oh. stoop. In the vacant lot across the street. Too many of them. Switch knives came with the neighborhood where I used to live. It's funny that I didn't think of it before. I guess you try to forget those things. Anybody who has ever used a switch knife would never have stabbed downward. You don't handle it that way. You use it underhand. Then he couldn't have made the kind of wound that killed his father. I suppose it's conceivable that he could have made the wound, but it's not likely. Not if he'd ever had any experience with switch knives. And we know the kid had a lot of experience with switch knives. I don't believe Neither it. Neither do I. You're giving us a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Oh. <laughs> what is wrong with those two? They're just the same. What do you think? Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> What about you? Well, listen, I'll tell you all something. I'm getting a little sick of this whole thing already. We're getting nowhere fast. Let's break it up and go home. Before we decide anything more, I would like to try to pull this together. Oh, oh this oh. should be good. He has a right. Let him go ahead. Do you want me to time this too? Oh, let's hear him. I'm in advertising. I love to see things pull together. Let's try to look at the whole picture to see if some pattern is there. Maybe we can try getting a fresh point of view. I want you all to look at this logically and consistently. Oh, we have. Uh, guilty. So I want to know, is the kid smart or is the kid dumb? What do you mean? Well, this is a kid who has gone to the reform school for knife fighting. The night of the murder, he bought a knife, a switch knife. It would then take a very stupid kid to go and murder a man, his father, with an instrument that everyone would associate with the kid. I quite agree. He's dumb. However, if he were dumb, then why would he make a kind of wound that an inexperienced man would make with a knife? I'm not sure I understand. Yeah. <laughs> to murder someone must take a great emotion, great hatred. And at that moment, he would handle the knife as best he could. 
and a trained knife fighter would handle the knife as he had been trained. Underhand. A man who had not been trained would go overhand. But the kid is being very smart. Everyone knows that he is an experienced knife fighter, so he is smart enough at that moment to make the wound that an amateur would make. That man is a smart man. Smart enough to wipe fingerprints away, perhaps even smart enough to wait until an L train is going by in order to cover the noise. Now, is the kid smart or is he dumb? Hey, now wait a minute. Well, the woman across the L tracks saw the murder through the L train. So someone in the L train could have seen the murder too. A possibility, but no one did that we know of. It would take an awfully dumb man to take that chance, doing the murder as the train went by. Exactly. A dumb man, a very stupid man, a man swept by emotion. Probably he heard nothing. He probably didn't even hear the train coming. And whoever did murder the father did it as well as he could. So? The kid is dumb enough to do everything to associate himself with the switch knife. A switch knife murder. And then, a moment after the murder, he becomes smart. The kid is smart enough to make a kind of wound that would lead us to suspect someone else. And yet, at the same instant, he is dumb enough to do the killing as an L train is going by. And then, a moment later, he is smart enough to wipe fingerprints away. To make this boy guilty, you have to say he is dumb from 8 o'clock until about midnight. And then about midnight, he becomes smart one second, then dumb for a few seconds, and then smart again, and then once again, he becomes stupid. So stupid that he does not think of a good alibi. Now, is this kid smart or is he dumb? To say that he is guilty, you have to toss his intelligence like a pancake. There is doubt. 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 I hadn't thought of that. And the old man downstairs, on the stand, he swore that it was 15 seconds. He insisted on 15 seconds. But we all agree that it must have been almost 40 seconds. Does the old man lie half the time? And then does he tell the truth the other half of the time? For the kid to be guilty, he must be stupid, then smart, then stupid, and then smart, and so on. And also for the kid to be guilty, the old man downstairs must be a liar half of the time. And the other half of the time, he must tell the truth. You can reasonably doubt. I'm sold on reasonable doubt. I think I am too. Yeah, I wanted more talk, and now I've had it. But I want another vote. Okay. There's another vote called for. I guess the quickest way is a show of hands. Anybody object? No. All right. All those voting not guilty, raise your hands. Nine. All those voting guilty, three. The vote is nine to three in favor of acquittal. I don't understand you people. How can you believe that this kid is innocent? You know how those people lie. I don't have to tell you. Well, they don't know what the truth is. Then let me tell you. They don't need any real big reason to kill someone either. You know. Well, then they, they get drunk and, and bang. Someone is lying in the gutter. Well, then nobody's blaming them. That's, well, that's how they are. You know what I mean. Violent. Well, human life don't mean as much to them as, well, as it does to us. Well, what are you doing? Look, these people, they, they are drinking and, and fighting all the time. And if somebody gets killed, so somebody gets killed, oh, they don't care. Sure, there are some good things about them too. Look, I am the first to admit it. Well, I've known a few who, who are pretty decent. Oh, but that, that's the exception. Most of them, it's, it's like they have no feelings. They can do anything. Well, what's going on here? I am speaking my peace and you. Well, listen to me. Oh, they're no good. They're, they're, there's not one of them who is any good. Well, this, take it from me. This kid on trial. Well, don't you know about them? Listen to me. I am trying to tell you something and you all just oh, sit no, no. And... If you open your mouth again, I'm going to split 
Your skull. I am only trying to tell you. Oh. All right. Sit down, everybody. I still believe the kid is guilty of murder. Uh. I'll tell you why. To me, the most damning evidence was given by the woman across the street, who claimed she saw the murder actually committed. That's right. As far as I'm concerned, that's the most important testimony. Mm, all right. Let's go over her testimony. What exactly did she say? I believe I can recount it accurately. All right. Her bed was next to the open window, and she could look out the window while lying down and see directly into the window across the street. She tossed and turned for over an hour, unable to fall asleep. Finally, she looked toward the window at around uh, 1210. And as she looked out, she saw the boy stab his father. As far as I can see, this is unshakable testimony. Oh, that's what I mean. That's the whole case. Mm -hmm. Frankly, in view of this, I don't see how you can vote for acquittal. Well, what do you think about it? Hmm? Well, maybe. There's so much evidence to sift. Yes. What do you mean, maybe? He's absolutely right. You, you can throw out all the other evidence. Yes, that was my feeling. I don't deny the validity of the points that he has made. Right. Shall we say that on one side of the tracks, there is doubt? But what can you say about the story of the woman? She saw it. My watch seems to have stopped. Uh, what time does that say? Uh, about 35 minutes of 6. Oh, uh -huh. uh, you don't suppose they'd let us go home and finish it in the morning? Mm. We've got a kill with mumps. <laughs> Not yeah. Can't you see the clock yeah. without your glasses? Oh. Not clearly. Yeah, glasses oh. are a nuisance, aren't they? Yeah. Well, what do you all do when you wake up at night and want to know what time it is? Uh, I put my glasses on and I look at the clock. I just lie in bed and I wait for the clock to chime. <laughs> my father gave it to us when we were, when we were married, you know. My wife and I. Mm. It was ten years before we had a place to put it. Uh, do you wear your glasses to bed? Oh, of course not. No one wears eyeglasses to bed. No. The woman who testified that she saw the killing wears glasses. What about her? Did she wear glasses? Uh, of course. The woman wore bifocals. I remember this very clearly. They looked quite strong. Oh, that's oh. right. <laughs> bifocals. Mm. She never took them off. Funny. Oh, yeah. I never thought of that. I think it's logical to say that she was not wearing her glasses in bed. And I don't think she'd put them on to glance casually out the window. She testified that the killing took place the instant she looked out, and that the lights went out a split second later. She couldn't have had time to put on her glasses then. Now, perhaps this woman honestly thought she saw the boy kill his father. I say that she only saw a blur. Yes. How do you know what she saw? Uh, maybe she's farsighted. How does he know all these things? Does anyone think there still is not a reasonable doubt? I will always wonder. But there is a reasonable doubt. I think he's guilty. Does anyone else? No, I'm convinced. There is a reasonable doubt. You're alone. Eleven votes, not guilty. One, guilty. I don't care oh, whether I'm alone or not. I have a right. Yes, you have a right. Well, I think the kid's guilty. What else do you want? Your argument. I gave you my argument. We're not convinced. We're waiting to hear them again. We have time. <laughs> Listen, 
Well, what's the matter with you? You're the guy. You made all the arguments. You can't turn now. Oh, a guilty man's going to be walking the streets of a murderer. He's got to die. Stay with me. I'm sorry. I'm convinced. I don't think I'm wrong often, but I guess I was this once. There is a reasonable doubt in my mind. We're waiting. You're not going to intimidate me. I'm entitled to my opinion. Well, it's going to be a hung jury, that's it. There's nothing we can do about that. Except hope that some night, maybe in a few months, why, you might get some sleep. You're all alone. It takes a great deal of courage to stand alone. If it is a hung jury, then there will be another trial. And some of us will point these things out to the various lawyers. All right. Waiting. Not guilty. Not guilty.
I've got heartaches by the number Troubled by the score Every day you love me That's each day I love you more Yes, I've got heartaches by the number 